Are Mint Mobile's new cell phone plans worth it? Mint Mobile just launched four brand new plans, but how do they stack up against the competition? And should you sign up? In this video, we'll be answering these questions and make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out if Mint Mobile is worth it for you. As a refresher, Mint Mobile is a prepaid cell phone carrier, also known as an MVNO, that uses T-Mobile's network to provide coverage. In fact, Mint Mobile is now owned by T-Mobile as of March 15th, 2023. This has left many people wondering, will T-Mobile raise Mint Mobile's prices? Let's talk about that now. Mint Mobile previously offered four cell phone plans to choose from, $15 for four gigs, $20 for 10 gigs, $25 for 15 gigs, and $30 for their unlimited plan. The unlimited plan came with 35 gigabytes of high-speed data before unlimited data at 512 kilobits per second. Today, Mint Mobile is updating all of these plans. The good news is that prices are staying exactly the same. The 15, 20, 25 dollar and 30 dollar price points are all still here. So what changed? The amount of data that comes with each plan. The 4 gig plan got bumped to 5 gigs. The 10 gig plan increased to 15 gigs. The 15 gig plan is now 20 gigs. And the unlimited plan went from 35 gigs of high speed data to now 40 gigabytes of high speed data and the hotspot allotment doubled from 5 gigs to 10 gigs. This is kind of crazy to think about it because when I first reviewed Mint Mobile back in 2017, those data amounts were 2 gigabytes, 5 gigabytes, and 10 gigabytes. There was no unlimited plan. So Mint has effectively doubled, or in some cases tripled, the amount of data they include in their plans since when they first launched. That's pretty cool. And all of the plans still include the same features as before, Wi-Fi calling, voice over LTE, visual voicemail, 5G access, eSIM, and pay-per-use international rates. But are these new plans worth it? In order to compare Mint's plans to the competition, there's one important thing you need to understand, how Mint Mobile's pricing works. One of the big reasons Mint Mobile's plans are so affordable is that they sell their plans in bulk 3, 6, or 12 month packages. The way it works is new customers get an intro offer. They get 3 months of service at the 12 month price, which is the lowest price Mint Mobile offers. Then after your first 3 months, you have 3 options. You can renew your plan for another 3 months, this time at the regular 3 month rate. You can renew your plan for 6 months at the 6 month rate, or you can renew your plan for 12 months at the 12 month rate, which is the same low rate you had with your intro offer. And that's the key thing to understand here. To get the best prices from Mint Mobile, you need to sign up for 12 months of service at a time. Those $15 to $30 prices turn into $180 to $360 up front when you pay for a full year. For some people, this can be a big upfront cost and commitment. However, when I first switched to Mint back in college, this actually worked out great for me. I was a student in college, so I knew I'd be in the same area for about four years, and I knew T-Mobile had good service in that area. I was also comfortable paying more upfront to get a lower total cost on my cell phone bill. So do keep in mind, as we compare Mint Mobile to the other plans, we are using Mint Mobile's 12 month prices. Okay, now let's compare Mint Mobile to the competition for both single lines and families to see if they're worth it. Starting off, we have the low cost $15 plan. Here, competitive options come from T-Mobile, US Mobile, Mobile X, and Boost Mobile. All plans are listed for $15, but these are the prices after all taxes and fees. Mint Mobile gives you an extra gig and a half of data compared to T-Mobile, Plus, you get unlimited slow data after your high-speed allotment as opposed to being shut off. I think Mint is a better value here. Compared to US Mobile, Mint Mobile is about $2 cheaper per month, includes unlimited slow data, and most importantly, it includes the mobile hotspot feature. This is a $2 add-on if you want it from US Mobile. Mobile X is a new competitor here. They just launched this year, and both are good value plans. They're also very different. Mint Mobile has a fixed price and a fixed data amount. 
Mobile X, meanwhile, allows you to customize your plan every month, and they only charge you for the data you actually use. Some of you may be able to save money with the flexibility and customizability of Mobile X, but I also think a lot of you will prefer the simplicity of Mint Mobile. Now, Boost Mobile offers a really competitive plan. Both plans are reasonably priced, include five gigabytes of high-speed data, and support the mobile hotspot feature. The main differences are that Mint Mobile's plan offers up to 4K streaming and unlimited slow data if you go over your high-speed allotment, and Boost Mobile's plan is monthly instead of yearly. I'd say both options are great, and it depends if you prefer T-Mobile coverage or you have better AT&T coverage in your area. Next is Mint Mobile's $20 15 gig plan. This sees competition from US Mobile and Boost Mobile. All plans are listed for $20 per month, but here are the prices after all taxes and fees. You can now see US Mobile's plan is over $2 more expensive than Mint's, has lower quality video streaming, stops your data after 15 gigabytes, and makes the hotspot a $2 add-on. Mint's plan seems like a better value here to me, compared to Boost Mobile, and Mint's plan is now the one that's more expensive. The other two differences are that Mint Mobile offers higher resolution video streaming and includes unlimited slow data after your 15 gig allotment. Both of these plans are annual and overall pretty similar. Next, we have Mint's $25 plan. The closest competitors here are T-Mobile Connect, US Mobile, and Boost Infinite. All prices are listed for $25 before taxes and fees, and after taxes and fees, they vary quite a bit. Compared to T-Mobile Connect, Mint's plan is way better. It's only a few cents extra per month, and it gives you over three times the data. It also gives you higher resolution video streaming and unlimited slow data when you reach your high-speed allotment. If you really did want to pay monthly for service and get T-Mobile coverage, then I would go with Telo's 10 gigabyte plan instead. Now, Mint versus US Mobile is a bit more interesting. US Mobile continues to be about $2 more expensive per month, but this time it gives you five extra gigabytes of data. US Mobile still has the same caveats as before, including 720p video streaming, shutting your data off after 25 gigabytes, and making the hotspot feature a separate $2 add-on. I think both plans can be great options here, and it probably comes down to whether you prefer T-Mobile coverage or Verizon coverage. Next is Boost Infinite. This is a plan I'm testing out right now, and it's honestly one of the best overall value plans at the $25 price point. It comes out to just over $2 cheaper than Mint's plan, and it includes 10 more gigabytes of data. You also get unlimited data here at 512 kilobits per second after your high-speed allotment, which is much faster than the 128 kilobit per second speeds you get from Mint Mobile. That said, Boost Infinite limits video quality to 480p, and you only get five gigabytes of data that you can use as hotspot data. Mint's plan, meanwhile, lets you use up to all 20 gigabytes of data as hotspot data, which is really nice. If you're a heavy hotspot user, then Mint's plan is probably a better move here. Now onto Mint Mobile's unlimited plan. The only competitors here at the $30 price point are Boost Mobile and Visible Base. After taxes and fees, Mint Mobile's plan ends up a bit more expensive here. Boost Mobile's plan is around $3 cheaper, includes five gigs less high-speed data, but has two gigabytes of extra hotspot data. Visible has a $30 unlimited plan here, and it's kind of an amazing deal. It's a bit over $3 cheaper than Mint, offers truly unlimited data, and includes unlimited hotspot data with speeds at five megabits per second. Visible's plan is the single best value, truly unlimited data plan out there, so it's tough to beat. They also happen to be offering a promo right now, which drops the price down to just $25 per month. Additionally, my audience can save an extra $5 off your first three months of service using code five off three mo. You can learn more in the video description. Either way, I'd be curious what plan you would pick here. On one hand, you have Mint, which I think has a better app and better customer service. But on the other hand, you have Visible, which is a bit cheaper and gives you truly unlimited data. If you did need unlimited data on the T-Mobile network, then you're looking at Metro's $40 unlimited plan that's available for new customers. And to be honest, I'd probably go with Mint here. 
it's around $6 cheaper per month, and 40 gigabytes is plenty of data for like 95 to 98% of people. Plus, you're getting 10 gigabytes of high-speed hotspot data here, as opposed to no hotspot data with Metro's plan. Now, where Mint Mobile's unlimited plan really shines is when you compare it to the postpaid plans. AT&T Unlimited Starter, T-Mobile Go 5G+, and Verizon 5G Play More are the best value postpaid plans, which I learned from my analysis for the best family plans video. And Mint Mobile will save you over $600 per year compared to T-Mobile and Verizon. It will also save you over $430 per year when compared to AT&T Unlimited Starter. Or will it? You see, the big carriers all offer free phones when you trade in one of your old devices. This saves you $800 on a new iPhone 14. Mint's plan requires you to pay full price for your new iPhone, which is $800 up front, unless of course you finance it with a firm. So what's better? The cheaper plan with the more expensive phone or the more expensive plans with the free phones? To find out, I crunched all the numbers. I assumed you were trading in an iPhone 11, buying a new iPhone 14, and staying a customer for at least three years. Factoring in all costs, here's what I found. For single line users, Mint Mobile is hands down the most affordable option. Even when paying full price for a brand new iPhone, the lower cost of Mint Mobile's unlimited plan saves you between $200 and $400 per year. And the lower cost plans for Mint Mobile will save you up to $600 per year. For two lines, the same is true. Mint's plans save couples between $320 and $1,000 per year, depending on which plan you get and how much data you need. Three lines is where things get interesting. Now, both T-Mobile Go 5G Plus and AT&T Unlimited Starter end up costing less than Mint Mobile's Unlimited plan. Getting a free phone with a trade-in, plus the increased savings from the multi-line discounts makes these plans competitively priced. Now, Mint Mobile's 5 to 20 gig plans still save families between $50 and $400 per year. It just depends how much data each line needs. And for four lines, it's a new story altogether. Here, AT&T Unlimited Starter is the second cheapest option, beating out Mint Mobile's 15 gig plan. The fact a family of four can get truly unlimited data and free phones for everyone for just a couple of bucks extra per line is kind of outstanding. And T-Mobile Go 5G Plus continues to be a great value plan here as well. And for five lines, AT&T Unlimited Starter moves up and becomes the most affordable option. Mint's five gigabyte and 15 gigabyte plans could still save families money over Go 5G Plus, but for only a couple of dollars extra per line, Go 5G Plus is a vastly superior plan. So is Mint Mobile worth it? For single line users and couples, Mint Mobile's plans are some of the best value prepaid plans available. However, the number one factor is what network has good coverage in your area. You may want to consider checking out free resources like coveragemap.com to see what cellular coverage and performance is like in your area on the T-Mobile network. If you do get good T-Mobile coverage and you're comfortable paying for three months to a year of service upfront, then yes, I think Mint Mobile's plans are worth it. However, if you have three or more lines, then it's a different story. Mint's five and 15 gig plans could be worth it if you know how much data each line needs and you're looking to save a couple of dollars extra per month but I think for a majority of people, they would prefer the more premium experience of going with the postpaid plans. You're getting truly unlimited data, the ability to go to physical stores for help and support, and in some cases, you also get extra perks and benefits. However, the extra savings from the postpaid plans only work if you take advantage of the trade-in deals and discounts, and you are comfortable with financing your device over two or three years. If you're someone who prefers to upgrade their phone more frequently, or you prefer to buy it outright, then going with a prepaid carrier like Mint Mobile will be an overall cheaper option. My name is Stetson, and my goal is to help 1 million people save $10 per month or more on their cell phone bill. 
If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing for more videos like this one.